hi guys and welcome welcome to my channel i am nina and this is under my mask uh, normally i talk about my weight loss but today we are going to do an unboxing for you and we are going to do an unboxing from my home country and our pride and joy and that is <laughs> Ikea or as we say in Sweden Ikea that's how you pronounce it uh, I have bought some little things and I wanted to share that with you because Ikea or Ikea sorry I'm just getting used to saying it in the way you do in English uh, Ikea is actually not only big furniture and build yourself cabinets and whatever they have a lot of small things as well and a lot of things that can help your house uh, when you are sorting things out you want little things here and little things there so i bought some little things that i think is going to be good and something that i like but we'll see some of it is the first time i try so we can see what it is so let's get into it a big box so lots of things in there so let's see we're gonna start with they're really well packed as well as you can see oh oh i can smell this already oh. mm. and when i say smell you're wondering what am i talking about but you're gonna see in a second So I have been looking online for a long time to find scented candles and I wanted to do a subscription box or something and whatever but I am not prepared to pay £25 or more for a candle okay maybe that makes me cheap maybe that makes me whatever but I'm not prepared to do it so I never got to the subscription boxes with the candles uh, and then I was looking at Ikea to find some other things and I saw that they had candles. So I thought, oh, wow, well, I have to try this. I have to see what it is. And they were only 125 or 150 uh, So absolutely worth the try. So let's see then. I've got lots of different things. I wonder if it says anywhere. Oh. Mm. Ah, this smells like home. As you can see, it's a black glass. And it's salt licorice. I love my salt licorice. I miss them from Sweden, so... I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to... If I'm going to burn this or not. I might just sit and smell it. It smells... Just like home, just like Sweden. Yum, yum. Now this one then. I think this is rhubarb actually. It's a bit weird that it doesn't say on them what it is. Yeah, that smells like rhubarb. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now then, let's see what else. Green one. what that is a red one I can't really place the the scents on these I think this is apples I mean There is actually little pictures on here. If you look at it, it's called Veldoft, and all of the candles are called Veldoft. That's the kind of brand of it. It means good scent, if you want. Yeah. So, and that's another one. 
I don't really know what that is. It almost looks like tomatoes, but I think it might be uh, rose hips. No, I'm not sure. It's big, 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 big. Oh yes, of course. I got some of these, the big, bigger candles. It says, it says bloom doft, and bloom doft means flower scented. So, let's see what they are like. One more package, and it says the same on those. Oh. There we go, bloom doft. Oh, mm, that smells nice. Oh, I just dropped it. That's one of them. Hmm. Oh, they smell nice. Don't smell too much. I am um, I'm not keen on too much scent. A little bit is okay. Uh, but I don't want the way too much because I get a headache straight away. So I am trying to find something that I can keep buying. Hmm. This is different. This is a more, a more masculine scent. It's a bit more musky, a bit more, but it smells nice. It's okay. I can, I can go with that. The thing I do like with these candles is that even if you don't, if you don't burn them straight away, they will give off the scent. So you will still have the nice scent in the room. And I think that's quite nice actually. What else do I have? Boxes. I am going to show you. There we go. Uh, boxes to put things in, and I am going to show you. Of course, you put things in boxes, but you know, um, I'm going to show you where I put them and what I do with them. I just want to organize some things because I am tired of having things just scattered everywhere, and I need to organize it somehow. Um, we don't have a lot of space in this house, we don't have a lot of cupboards and storage. So I'm trying to organize the things that we have and do it in a little bit nicer way. So they're good. And then we also got these and I thought they were really cute. Little basket. And within the little basket is a little basket. <laughs> within that is a little basket. So, really good to put jewellery in, to put your hair clips or um, scrunchies or anything in them. But you do it in a nice way, so it looks really organised and I like that. For the final thing, uh, two more boxes. And these boxes are Bistore. Uh, and um, they look like this. This is what happens. Fold them out. Take the bottom, put that in here. And now you've got a handy little box. Okay? And it also looks quite nice. It's very, very um, fabric, uh, easy, lightweight, whatever, but you can store a lot in it. So that's good. I'm also going to show you what I'm doing with this. So, um, that was my little IKEA haul. And I also wanted to talk a bit about IKEA. I know that you pronounce it IKEA out there. In Sweden, we pronounce it IKEA. 
and the name comes from the creator of Ikea, Ingvar Kamprad, and where he used to live. The two last letters is from where he grew up and the, um, the area where he grew up. So that's how he made the name. I grew up with Ikea. I, I, it always, I mean, the house was always full of furniture from Ikea one way or another. If it wasn't a bed, it was uh, the living room furniture. If it wasn't the living room furniture, it was the kitchen furniture. And then you had the little boxes and the little things and the knives and forks. And I mean, everything Ikea, because not only is it cheap, uh, cheaper, it's easy to get hold of but I think it's quite at least it used to be uh, well made and it used to last for years and years and years and years I think they've gone into a little bit of a cheaper style now than they used to and um, I've had quite a lot of things break but that's that happens so I am really looking forward to trying these candles out and what I like the most about them is not only do you have these really great candles but once they're burnt out you have glasses so you recycle them by using them again and I think that is really clever and I like that and we used to have a lot of that in Sweden uh, sometimes when we bought ice cream or anything you would buy them in glass um, containers wash them out and then you've got drink glasses so <laughs> really good don't throw them away reuse them and uh, i hope you like this uh let me know do you go to ikea i get angry with myself when i say ikea because it's ikea <sighs> do you go there to shop what do you get is there anything you like in particular anything you go back for let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and come back and see more i'm sure i'm gonna get some more stuff from ikea in the future subscribe give me a like and leave a comment and let me know what you think okay take care guys